they've played hard and they've played fair. As here comes Finneytown now on the charge. We've seen that a number of times from tonight as soon as the whistle blows, uh, trying to get the ball set up as they're quickly going on the attack. But just like we've seen all night, that uh, tough Witten Woods defense making a play is a collision out there between a couple of players. Let's take a second look at this one. This might hurt. Ooh. Little face shoulder contact right there, but uh, everybody able to continue on. Who says soccer players aren't tough, right? I never said they didn't. They were not tough. <laughs> Anybody ever. who says that's an idiot. Oh, oh, there we go. go. What a goal from Finneytown. Well out on the field. First was, score of the day. That was number 10, Ashley Hammonds. Look at that one from the free kick. Up and over, Katie Sherman. And like we said, uh, it was going to be interesting to see what the teams drew up, given how that first half transpired. You knew they were going to come out aggressive, knowing that uh, every goal was going to be worth a lot. And scoring has been at a premium so far. Finneytown taking a one nothing lead, but what a great kick. And here comes Finneytown. They're going to pass it forward to Snyder. She gets a foot on the ball. This could be a scoring opportunity. And centers oh. it with some great, great defense from Whitten Woods. That was Jennifer Jordan oh. making the play. Boy, you give up another goal at this part of the game. That could have been it for Whitten Woods. But Jennifer Jordan with the big play. Here comes Snyder. Great pass by her as she saw the goalkeeper coming out. But Jennifer Jordan with the heads up play, able to get it out away from the goal. Tamara Mays with the free kick for Finneytown. We saw Hammond score oh. in that manner earlier and uh, almost a goal from Mays that time. Just Finneytown a little not, bit lower on the ball. Finneytown not afraid to take those long kicks to uh, try to put it in on the goal. With the way this game has gone so far with the tough defense on both sides, so you really got to take what you can get. He's about 20 yards out. Going to try to hook it in. Oh! Wow, a near score again from Hammonds. And Sherman was able to deflect that. Take a look at this as uh, she put some English on that one. Curving back in. Sherman tried to deflect it out away towards the far sideline, but uh, with the spin on the ball, only able to uh, get it. Okay, so there, you know you know firsthand how tough those cornerbacks can be. <laughs> and Finneytown bombing it deep. Oh. And a collision. Looking like a headbutt from. A couple of players getting together. Looks like that was uh, number 15, Lindsey Haynes. Ooh, oh, making contact and oh, there you see it. Making Haynes head contact. Haynes and Sherman getting together. That'll ring your bell. They're good to go though. I, I can't believe that. Girls. I'd be down on the ground. These are some tough girls. Very, very tough. And clearing the ball out. That was Jennifer Jordan with the play. We've seen her short circuit a number of scoring opportunities. Here comes Wint Woods. Ruggles on the run, oh, rebound off East Step, and that one's going to go East over the goal the line. The wow, lightning nearly striking there for That's Wynn the kind Wood. of player Amani Ruggles is. Uh, you know, we haven't seen her much in the second half, but you just snap your fingers and suddenly, you know, she's out away from everybody in a scoring opportunity. She's so fast, so athletic, so fast, so the Warriors find themselves at a uh, one nothing disadvantage. Battle at midfield. Finneytown smartly taking it back, and now they'll put it into Wheaton Woods territory. Oh. And here's a play. Oh. And still fighting for it. And now, Katie Sherman smothering the ball, but boy, she had to work for that one. Great pass on that play, and it was Samantha Gordon nearly getting it passed. You know, all uh oh, here uh -oh. we go. Scoring opportunity for Winton Woods. Oh, but East Step, Step is there in this one. Winton Woods is yet to score. Finney Town enjoying the 1 nothing lead. And now a whistle. And it looks like this one's going to be on Finney Town. So Winton Woods, only about 20 yards out. This might be the chance they need. Ambry Johnson, we nearly saw her score a few minutes ago, taking the free kick. She's going to put it in on goal, but it's going to hook wide left. And one Wynn Woods player was nearly there to scoop up the uh, the near rebound, or I guess it would have been a pass in that case, even though Johnson was going for the goal. Wick, under four and a half minutes left. 
time for possibly a few more scoring opportunities, but you can't have a scoring opportunity when uh, you're stuck with the ball on your side of the field. Sherman scooping the ball up for Winton Woods, but now a whistle on the play. And it looks like an injured player for Finneytown. Not quite Lindsay sure. Haynes on the ground on the oh. far side. On the oh. far side. Here come the Warriors. Trying to make one last play. Here comes Ruggles and Eastep with the big stop. And if Finneytown can hang on, I think that just might be the play of the game, at least on defense for the Wildcats. What a save by Miranda Eastep. Take a look at this. Aggressively coming out on that shot from Ruggles. Winton was going to inbound it. Still enough time left for a charge, but Winton Woods has to act quick. And they'll advance it forward to Ambry Johnson. Going to have a shot, but Eastep is there. Another big save by Miranda Eastep. Coming up big at the end of this one. She's had a number of big saves. Take a look at that. That might be it as we have just over 30 seconds left, but not so fast. Here comes Whit Woods back on D. They're going to clear the ball up the field. Do they have one charge left in them? 30 seconds, less than 30 seconds now left. 25 on the board. Here comes Whitten Woods with one last shot. They're going to center it towards the goal. Eastep looking at it, and she's going to pick it up. I believe it went out of bounds, and it's going to be a goal kick for Finneytown. And that just Nine, might do it. Eight, seven, six, just under 10 five, seconds left. Four, the time will three, expire. Two, Finneytown kicks it one. out. And that's going to do it for this one. The Finneytown Wildcats defeating the Woods Warriors by a score of one to nothing.